Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Candace working on a, uh, what is that? I'm washing the Batmobile. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's got a, um, uh, I think I'm going to try new batteries. Um, so this button, it sounds like it's kind of cutting off, huh? Yeah. This one doesn't work at all. It could be batteries. Yeah, I'm gonna try new batteries. And then this one is really cool. Oh, oh okay. My phone, my stuff was in the way. But yeah, you get the idea. Okay, yeah, we're gonna. Pop up. Oh, and look how cool. I didn't see this yesterday. Look at the inside, how cool. Huh. Yeah. What's that thing worth, you think? Dep if the electronics work 100%. Uh, 30. 30? No, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Candace is working on action figure parts and playset, action figure playset parts and stuff still. Um, I actually, we had a bunch of these plates, uh, this Bing and Grondel plates. I actually have sold quite a few of these Christmas plates in the same brand. Um, and we had just, a, we had a bunch more plates, like, I don't know, 60 more plates. Um, I listed these two stacks that are in the back i listed yesterday that's why they have these p numbers on them those are uh inventory locations are most of them mother's day no uh there's well yeah i would say yeah actually yeah most of them are mother's day plates on this round and then there's also some children's day plates which i never heard of and i, I think maybe the children's day plates are worth a little more but I haven't looked yet. I, I've only listed Mother's Day one so far. So that's my only project for today. My back is is still it's getting better. It's still a little stiff, but I'm able to um, I'm able to get up and move and stuff. So I'm it's it's getting better. It's getting stronger. It's kind of scary how uh, just picking up one little twenty pound thing could just knock you out knock me out of commission like that that's that's a little frightening honestly I'm getting old. i am getting old you're, you're right but it's just weird because i'm pretty big i'm i'm big and and fat but i'm i'm fairly strong so it just it's just weird to me that like something so small uh took me down like that but so anyways hopefully it doesn't happen again anytime soon we have uh i think 19 orders going out today and it's uh a bunch of things there's a couple of orders that have like multiple items too so uh, let's go ahead and pull some stuff hey first boba fett drawer sold uh, an insert a bandai insert for 9.99 plus ship i think that's something candace listed yesterday day before, day before yesterday this is a good sale sold from CC11 right here sold all of this aqua four baby stuff all this aqua four baby ointment stuff um, sold all three lots of two jars each so it's a total of six jars that sold for I think 50 something y'all y'all should be able to see it on the screen sorry for this camera work uh yeah these all sold for a total of 59.97 plus shipping on top go back here and grab one of these aprons can't believe how fast they're selling i think we actually have two going out again today i think we might have one left in stock or something so yeah that sold for 14.99 plus ship okay and one bravo is sold it says pure body lot and there's a there's loofahs this must be it right one of these okay here we go if it's this yeah facial pad and it's got the big scrubber and it's got the sponge okay this sold for $14.99 then on that same order CC3 sold these three things in one lot 
these are these are like some kind of things you use in the shower maybe aromatherapies energize what are they called yeah sh spa shower tablets these are on that order and then from 10 foxtrot oh this tape dispenser that is a narwhal was on the order too this mer amazing friends narwhal tape dispenser this sold for $8.99. So all three of these things on one order. Okay, five Echo, we sold Heartland Plastics Horse. Ah, this must be him right here. This guy, he sold pretty decent amount. He sold for $22.49 plus shipping on top. Somebody ordered a bunch of comic books so I like to get Candace to help me whenever that happens. What we got? And they're all out of this 5A box right here. B18. B18. And what she does, she reads the B number to me or whatever the inventory number is to me. And then I read the name of the comic plus the issue number and she double checks that. So we have pretty, that should be pretty good. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number 148. B23. Okay. B23, Uncanny X Men number 153. B27. This is this is one of the variations when you, when you look up comic prices. Usually there's not really much of a difference, but you see how this one has the uh, 20 pence yeah. on it? Yeah. They, they, they usually give a different price on comic price guide for that one there's like a u.s print and then some of them have uk some of them just have uk or some of them just have u.s pricing all right so i'm not sure all right what's the next one i'm what sorry was that one that was uh b23 what was that i have b23 and 18 so far x-men what's the comic number it's 153 i think okay. i didn't i don't remember if you told me that. yeah b27 B27 is X-Men number 160. B35. B35. I guess these are all going to be X-Men. B35 is X-Men number 174. B38. B38 is X-Men number 191. B14. B14. Go back. B14 is X-Men number 143. B16. B16 is X-Men number 146. B19. B19 is X-Men number 149. B28. B28 is X-Men number 162. Right, you should have mine. Okay, so that's the whole stack. And that entire order came up to 106.16 plus shipping on top i'm over here packing packing away candace actually got some new batteries in this thing so interestingly enough interestingly enough it takes watch batteries which we happen to have some um and there was a little corrosion in there on the contacts so i cleaned that off with a q-tip with some white vinegar um yeah so. we have a little bottle of white vinegar right here <laughs> like yeah. lifetime supply so yeah, I got that in there, turned it on, and guess what? It's all working now. Perfect, huh? Yep. There was a little... If you look at these old batteries, I don't know if they all have it or not, one of them had a pretty good bit of corrosion on it. Yeah, you can see some on this one. Yeah. So yeah, a little cleanup helped. Okay, from 2 Charlie, we sold piece of a slime pit this thing right here sold for $6.99 plus shipping I need Candace's help Can you uh, grab that hat box for me please all right we're looking for 
a white saint's hat. I think it's probably one of the, this one. Should have a 33 in it. Yeah, this hat right here sold for $31.49 plus shipping on top. I thought it was autographed for some reason. Nah. Thanks, James. Okay, pulling a 45. Got a few different Saints 45s that I listed all at the same time. This one sold for $8.49 plus shipping on top. I'll probably ship this in one of those comic mailers. This next one has an old label of Pop B, I think. So I have to figure out where the heck that is. I think we still have the labels mid B. Back before we were using numbers, there's pop A. There was a pop B, but I don't remember where it was. Might be on the other side. This might be it right here, I hope. I hope this is it. Yep, this is it. Race fans, action, 124 scale stock car. This car sold for $35 plus shipping on top. It was on a major sale. It's been listed a long time. From 10 Delta sold this Rhino guy right here with diorama stand thing this sold for $26.99 plus shipping sold a Dr. Death this guy right here sold for no yeah Dr. Strange Dr. Strange sold for $13.49 plus shipping on top and also from the same drawer we sold a LJN Hulk fake for $8.99 plus ship. MU8 sold this lot of little people, square, square little people, sold for $9.99 plus ship. Five Bravo and a lot of stuff that we had already bought, but I, we picked up from I guy the other day this apple uh keyboard wired keyboard was in that stuff listed it and sold it within a few days 24.99 plus ship for that then last thing in the smalls drawer here sold a machinist uh, right here here we go machinist belt buckle for $25.49 plus shipping on top. So let me get this stuff packed. Okay, packages are away and I'm about to start working on my plates again. Got them all over here. Uh, I, I did think of something I want to talk about real quick though. Uh, we actually had somebody buy an apron in New Orleans um, day before yesterday. So it didn't, it didn't ship until yesterday. It got picked up like early yesterday afternoon, I think. Uh, and they had asked me, will it get here before Christmas? And of course, I told them, I said, look, I'll ship it. I'll ship it tomorrow, but I can't guarantee when it's going to get there. And I just checked for fun and it's out for delivery. So in less than, well, probably right at 24 hours, it made it to its destination, which isn't that amazing because New Orleans isn't very far. But one thing that I've not had any of that I know of yet anyways I uh, haven't seen the typical Christmas slowdowns that I've seen every other year. Like even like four or five years ago, I would find uh, priority would do okay. But then like your cheaper methods of shipment, like uh, media mail and first class would get really bogged down around Christmas time. I haven't seen any issues, at least like I said, none that I know of yet. Every other year, I would have known by now of several issues that I'm tracking and trying to put fires out, stall people, and all all these different tactics, right? Like when the carriers were running slow. 
we are having zero problems. Is, is that been y'all's experience too? Are y'all having uh, a lot of shipping issues this year? Because I don't really look at Facebook too much or YouTube even for that matter about reselling stuff. Uh, so I'm, I don't really have my ear to the ground on that, but from our perspective, it's been really good. Okay. Y'all, we forgot to film a closer. Uh, how long ago was that? Was it four days ago? That was the 21st. No, 23rd. I think today's I think. 27th. I don't know. Four days. Yet. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all again next year. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.